Hi and welcome to my lunar eclipse video. This lunar eclipse is in Scorpio and to me it is an eclipse of confrontation. I mean the moon is in Scorpio and it is squaring Saturn and the sun is conjunct Sedna and Mercury retrograde. And Mercury is the whole time trining Pluto. So for weeks now Mercury will be trining Pluto and will be around Sedna around what I would call the angry goddess and this angry goddess is also in my cards that I've pulled. I pulled Turandot walking the talk, Uranus, Jupiter and the extra cards fulfillment and innocence. And to me this time is about the angry goddess and that we can only come in fulfillment or fulfillment through innocence if we allow to look at the angry goddess inside of us. Look at the angry goddess around us. I mean like Thich Nhat Hanh says that it is not about pushing away our anger or pushing away our fear but to hold it like a baby and to care for it like a baby and through that changing it and I would say this is the process of this lunar eclipse because this lunar eclipse will be a time of confrontation where we feel limited and where we feel frustrated. It is not an easy time but it can be a time of freedom. It can be a time where we allow ourselves to be free and in this freedom moving forward and in this forgiving ourselves and others. We so often think that it is about forgiving others. Very often it is also about forgiving ourselves and that it is sometimes very very hard to forgive ourselves because we deep inside carry a very old guilt, an old wound where we think we deserve this. It is not an easy time but it is a time to set us free and the cards are talking also about this in walking the talk in being courageous in confronting our shadow we are allowing ourselves to be free and allowing Uranus this kind of the unexpected to break the walls around us to break the walls that bind us to set us free. There is this shamanic legend that says to look in the eyes of deer the demons ran away. So in our innocence in our way way to see the world anew in allowing ourselves to see the world anew. We allow our fulfillment, we allow love and we allow our demons, also the demons inside of us to set us free. And in the astrology to me why I feel that it is the same in the astrology is because the sun is conjunct Algol and is conjunct Sedna and both to me are very angry goddesses and very wounded. Algol is a fixed star but Sedna is a very wounded goddess and Algol is about the Medusa is also a very wounded goddess. So it is about the feminine and when I woke up this morning I thought well what is if all those messages around extraterrestrial life and so on is also about the goddess that is screaming at us how it dare you because I really heard this voice inside of me. How dare you to think that only humans are at the top and there is nothing higher than the human race. How dare we to think that? How dare we to think that our laws are the laws of reality? I mean and now we are like shocked when we found out in 2020 oh or where there were things released from the Pentagon videos and information that made clear that oh maybe there is life around us that laughs at our laws. Saturn squaring the notes. Maybe there is a realization that these laws might not be truly false but there is so much more and how dare we to think that we are so special and that now it is maybe a time with Uranus and Taurus, with Sedna and Taurus, with all this Taurus energy to be part of nature again, not to exclude ourselves from nature and to think we are different, that we are special, but to allow to be part again. To me I feel that in the sovereignty of inner stillness we allow ourselves to be free, more fluid and to be free, to be more open to who we really are and 
what we are part of and that in this becoming part of something again we allow ourselves to heal so i would say this lunar eclipse is not easy but this lunar eclipse can set us free from something that binds us from something that imprisons us where we have the moon and saturn in this total lunar eclipse i would say is where we have to confront where we still imprison ourselves or where we feel guilt or where we have to confront our shadow i mean mercury is also retrograde till the beginning of june so i would say it is a time to reflect first and foremost and to reflect about that maybe being part of something bigger is more than the idea of being at the top the moon is also trining neptune mars and jupiter so i would say there is a guidance from other dimensions and our soul is guiding us to set us more free and to come into this buddha stillness of taurus that is in the moment that is breathing and through this breath being connected with all that is and in this truth we set ourselves free so i will now go through the houses and through the ascendants and where are maybe your fields where you have to set yourself free so if you have a taurus ascendant then the moon is in your seventh house and saturn is in your tenth so i would say the theme is around relationship and career where do you have ideas around that topic where you think oh i can have only this or that and maybe that it is both maybe it is this and that so maybe there are constructs in these two areas where you have to set yourself free if you have an aries ascendant then the moon is in the eighth house and saturn is in the 11th so to me the question is what is friendship what is intimacy and maybe allow your friendships to be more intimate and your intimate relationships to be more in friendship to be more tolerant to be more open more listening with an aries ascendant sometimes we are very fast in this is what i want and i want it now and this kind of but it is a process and allowing this process of yeah that intimacy can be more relaxed like a friendship and that a friendship can be more intimate and in that more nourishing for you if you have a pisces ascendant then the moon is in the ninth house and saturn is in the 12th so even though you are a pisces and you have connection to other dimension maybe it is time to set yourself even more free and that maybe you still have constructs where you think but this is the way i only can connect to god or this is what god is to me and to set yourself free and to really allow yourself to be more free and in this freedom let the whole sky open to you and all the dimensions and the vastness and the eternity and the endless vastness of the universe let it open to you and let the universe teach you let all of life the interconnectedness of life teach you and not your ideas about that this is taurus feel into it breathe into it experience the truth if you have an Aquarius ascendant, then the moon is in the 10th house and Saturn is in the first. So it is about how you see yourself and your career and maybe that the way you see yourself is limiting yourself in what you think your career is. Or maybe in both areas you limit yourself in the way you see yourself, in the way you see yourself in the world and in the way you see yourself as a personality. If you have a Capricorn ascendant, then the moon is in the 11th house and Saturn is in the second. So the question is, how do I experience myself in groups maybe i feel lost in groups maybe i don't feel myself in groups maybe i don't feel i don't have an identity and all those constructs about how can i make myself seen in the group or what is with money and relationships what is with money and friendships it's themes around the topic of money and other people of money and friendships and allow yourself to set yourself free of constructs or maybe forgive others for their attitude it is a time to release something in these two areas right now if you have a Sagittarius ascendant then the moon is in your 12th and Saturn is in your third house so it is about the topic of 
how can the mundane life be part of my meditation maybe my meditation is so much more than just walking through nature or just sitting maybe my meditation can be talking to my neighbors or playing with my kids or calling my siblings maybe it is in the mundane or in the daily life daily superficial communication where there comes wisdom to you try to set yourself free where wisdom comes to you where God speaks to you set yourself free in these areas if you have a Scorpio ascendant then the moon is in the first and Saturn is in the fourth so it is about how does the construct of how you see yourself how you think you have to represent yourself in the world how does it limit yourself in your emotions how do you limit yourself and imprison yourself in that so these are the areas where this total lunar eclipse is calling you to set yourself free if you have a libra ascendant and the moon is in the second and saturn is in the fifth so it is about now my camera died talking about shadow so to continue if you have a Libra ascendant, then the moon is in the second house and Saturn is in the fifth house. So it is about setting free the way you allow yourself to feel joy in your body. Maybe feeling joy or having fun doesn't always look beautiful or isn't always refined. Sometimes maybe it's dirty, sometimes maybe it's rough, sometimes maybe it's a little bit edgy. Yeah, or how you see yourself as a pleasure for someone else that maybe you think that you can only be attractive if you are refined and if you have a very beautiful trained body and maybe you set yourself free from all those prejudices about your body about all those images where you think oh this is the way I'm attractive to others and this is the way I experience pleasure in my body so I would say where you have to set yourself free is in the area of your body and how you experience pleasure and maybe also it might be very profane that you change the way you train your body that it is something that gives you more pleasure like for example that you don't go to the fitness anymore but that you start dancing and that through dancing you get your fitness so it could also be around that that pleasure brings you more joy in your body so it could be also the other way around so I would say it is something in the area of your body and the area of pleasure where it is time for you to set yourself free to forgive your yourself to forgive others the way you feel like oh no one will love me because this and that happened and and let it go allow yourself to be free from all those images where you imprisoned yourself in or where you think that pleasure is possible for you maybe it is the impossible for you that will bring you joy so if you have a Virgo ascendant then the moon is in your third and Saturn is in your sixth house so I would say that maybe it is around the air area of the way you think the way you communicate also with yourself that is time to change where there is time that something new happens where you imprisoned yourself where there is a lot of guilt that maybe imprisons you in a certain routine that doesn't fit anymore or where you weaken yourself the sixth house often has to do with weakening weakening your strength maybe it is an old theme around your siblings or in your neighborhood maybe it is something where you have to release something where you have to forgive something in this inner stillness you will find a new way to communicate and it might even go so far that it might change the way you do service or where you do service to the world where you give your service to the world if you have a Leo ascendant then the moon is in the fourth house and Saturn is in the seventh so it is around the theme of am I really getting nourished in relationships do I have to compromise too much to be in a relationship will I always be alone themes around this kind of how will I get nourished from others and how do I nourish myself and how do I maybe allow others to nourish me so maybe you don't even realize that you push others this away and you think oh no one loves me no one nourishes me no one gives me what I want and maybe it is you that prohibits others from giving you what you want so I would say where you have to set yourself free where you have to allow the walls to come down 
is in the field of relationship, as in the field of how you relate to yourself. Maybe you are even too dependent on others and only feel loved when there are others around. So maybe it is that that has to change. But it is around the field of nourishing yourself, being nourished and nourishing others. If you have a Cancer ascendant, then the Moon is in the fifth house and Saturn is in the eighth house. So it is around what brings me pleasure, what is just for fun and what is really intimacy. So maybe in the field of intimacy you are too strict, you feel too obliged to do something, you feel too constricted by all those things you have to do, by all the burden that you feel, where you feel obliged. The tension is between, but what brings me joy, but what are all the tasks that I have in my intimate relationships. So it is a time to set yourself free in those areas of having fun, moving with the flow and intimacy and being really connected and being really loyal to others. Maybe you are even mothering others too much. You expect too much from you and it is time to set yourself free. And finally, if you have a Gemini ascendant, then the moon is in the sixth house and Saturn is in the ninth house. So it is about what do I allow myself to believe because I have a certain way of living my life and maybe this is the way it has to be. Maybe this is how it always has been. This is the way my surroundings does it. This is like others do it. So maybe the question is, what is your true value, Taurus? What you really want? Want to experience the sun right now is in your 12th house so the Taurus sun so maybe it is about completely letting go of all the constructs that you have about your life and that you have about what is true for you in your life maybe you have constructs that imprison you and even though you think that you are free you are a Gemini sun and maybe you believe that you are curious about life maybe you are but maybe you are not curious enough or Maybe you could experience a lot more and a lot more variety and a lot more adventures if you just allow yourself to be free. So I hope this was helpful to you. First and foremost, I wish you to set yourself free because what I once said to me, freedom is the sister of love. And I wish you to experience a lot of freedom and through that a lot of love for yourself and others. Thank you till next time. Namaste.